but we're also working together. Uh, we we started working together this year um, on a on a bit of a project, um, looking at um, digital sustainability as well with uh, the Arts Marketing Association uh, and the Wow Foundation, uh, which has been so interesting and I think um, a really great opportunity to work collaboratively with other organisations and and super cool and sort of use uh, you know get some of your expertise and your learning. Um, to, to help us and I think you know you've you've been as an organization you've been really generous and sort of transparent with with what you're learning which I think that's it's it's a really positive sort of um energy to put out there um and yeah and get get people really you know focusing on it and and sharing yeah I think and um, I think it's fair to say that everyone's still learning about it I think the rate at which technology develops the rate at which um you know, our, our ability to embrace new technologies that are better for the environment um, it is moving so quick. I think one of the things I'm doing, um, so as well as working at Supercool, I'm doing a part time MBA and I'm focusing specifically on digital sustainability at the moment. And one of the things that is coming out as a real challenge is just a lot of a lot of people just don't know about this stuff. You know, we're not taught the impact of our digital activities. We don't realize how much energy uh, you know, server farms are using, how much energy our devices are using. Um, and it is a big learning curve for everyone. And that's the same for whether people work in digital agencies or you know, whether you've got developers writing code or whether you're at the other end of it and you're populating a website with content, everyone's learning. I think the project we're doing with um, you, Arts Marketing Association and Wealth Foundation, is really interesting because I'm learning an awful lot about your challenges when you're managing content day to day because it's very easy for me to say oh well this is what you need to do to reduce the footprint of your website and here's a list of actions that you should do over the next couple of months but actually you're really busy you've got busy schedules to navigate you've got activities that are already planned in as well as the human element of getting buy-in from people across the organization you know where they're perhaps very image-led they're investing in lots of video content and you're saying actually we shouldn't have that much video content on our website so it's been really nice for me as well because I'm learning a bit more about the internal challenges at an organization when it comes to being the person who champions digital sustainability. Um, it's very easy to assume that that's just something you can do from the outside, but it's not quite the case. <laughs> yeah, and it's, and it's definitely got to be one of those things that's, that's it, it's got to work because, you know, that, that will be how you get change. It can't just, you know, you can't just say this is, this is it, this is what you've got to do. It's actually got to work with the organisation to, you know, you've got, you've got to find those ways. And I think that collaborative sort of element and, and what we're learning from each other is 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 really helpful as well. 